Hello YouTubers, well today I thought I'd make a bit of video for you on how to wire um, a car coil up on a lawnmower engine or in this case might be a pump engine. Now there's many reasons why you might want to do that, one of them might be as in this case the coil's rooted and it's going to cost me 80 bucks to rewind one. I don't really want to rewind one because I don't have any use for the engine, just want to run it. Um, or that sort of thing, you know, whatever reason you may have. Um, so basically all you need is a standard car coil with a condenser attached. Um, we'll go more into condensers later. But um, I'd recommend a 12 volt coil, not one that requires a ballast resistor because that's just a bit of a pain in the ass to have to hook up. Um, you'll need a high tension lead. This one's just one that goes from a coil to a distributor. 12 volt power source, in this case a battery charger could be anything 12 volt as long as it's got enough grunt to handle it um, and a engine with points now it has to have points because it's too hard to set it up with anything else so what we've got here is a diagram of how the system works so this here is the coil now this is the primary this is the secondary so the secondary attaches to the spark plug here so the spark plug um, the earth for this side is um, the chassis of the actual coil itself so the coil provides earth straight out of it um, which basically through an imaginary line through the block of the engine connects to the um, outside of the spark plug so the metal piece of the spark plug that's your earth and your centre is your positive the electrode so that's one side now the 12 volt side um, first of all you have your for a negative earth system which is what this is which is the easiest way to do it and explain it um, but what you basically have is your positives just connected straight to the coil so that'll just be connected straight to the positive terminal now the negative is connected through the points so what happens is because on a negative ground engine your clip will connect to ground and ground you know the, so the whole engine itself is ground so what happens is when these points um, well when they're closed it applies power to the coil so it completes the circuit then when they open um, the circuit collapses and that causes a high um, amount of energy in the secondary winding which connects to the spark plug which causes it to spark so it's actually only when the points open that the engine sparks. It's not when it closes, which is what a lot of people think, but that's not the case. So you'll need a cable attached to your points first off. Now that cable will run to the negative side on your coil, the negative post on the top. Now this particular, well for any of these setups you need a condenser, um, which is basically just a capacitor that stops the points of the coil arcing across. So um, now I'll, these points probably will arc because it's quite a high power coil. Um, it's off a six cylinder Holden engine. Um, so it probably will spark across the points, which in that case I'll probably need to either add another condenser or do something to sort that out. Um, I haven't really gone into that much, but yeah, it's enough to run it. So the first thing you'll want to do is obviously attach the coil. The, housing of the coil or the metal shell of the coil needs to be attached to the engine so find a place with no paint like that there and we'll bolt it on um, I'll just put the camera down for this piece I'll just tighten up my screw here if I can um, so I'm a bit of an odd bent angle so there we go so I've tightened that up so now the um, um, sorry, the wire from your coil will connect to the negative post of the um, coil. So we'll connect that up. It'll be a bit of a bodgy connection, but it doesn't really matter because I'm not actually going to run the engine yet. I've got to put the carby on it before I run it. Okay, well, I'll need to do that bolt up. So I'll just put the wire on and do the bolt up. Um, yeah, so. The, this system is pretty easy to wire up. You could probably um, 
I'll have a look if into doing it with an electronic ignition. It's probably possible, um, but you know, I doubt it's worth it. So there we go. Uh, it's loose, you know, well, that's for the purpose of the video. So our condenser goes to ground of the engine, so it has to be a decent grounding point. Um, and then the other, the lead off it goes to the or negative post of the coil. So now what you'll do is you'll get whatever power source you may have. The negative will go to the ground of the engine as we said before. The positive will go to the positive post of the coil. As so. So now your high tension lead, this is pretty easy. Um, that'll just push in to the top of the coil and then your spark plug make it fit in there. So this end's not the right end for a spark plug, but I'll make it fit. I just crimped it with the pliers, so now it fits. There we go, we've got a spark plug. So it's all hooked up now. Um, so what you want to do is apply power. So it's good if you can have a switch in one of these wires or such. So now the points are open. So every time they close and open again, you'll have a spark there and it's actually got a very avid spark at the actual points themselves so you'll need to play around with the condenser because you do not want your points arcing because it'll burn out your points in no time at all so wherever that other condenser's gone um, just try different methods I can't really recommend much because um, obviously every situation is different so you might try a better connection or that sort of thing possibly you could try a diode maybe in um in this wire here but i doubt it would make much difference maybe a resistor or something but as you'll see each time so when the points close so they close like that so now when they open there's a spark so it doesn't matter which way you rotate the engine it's always going to have the same thing but those points are sparking badly as you can see you don't want any spark on your points because it'll burn them out so as you can see we've got a spark there now you need to adjust your points um, obviously so they're firing at the right time and the one thing try not to do is leave the points in a closed position because that then applies power to the coil and you can burn out your coil so if you actually listen you'll hear the coil when the points are closed the coil hums so, like that, it is because it's basically sort of short circuit type thing. So that would be the basic way to wire up um, a coil to suit a normal lawnmower engine. So that will work. Um, how long your points last, I have no real idea. I've never run them for any considerable time. But this is working alright. Um, a little battery should do it. Um, smaller battery doesn't have to be a large one um, the power source I don't know how much current it draws how many amp hours but it's not a hell of a lot because I know you can get away driving a car for a long time if all you've got is your coil going if you haven't got any electronics or anything so that's as you can see that's a nice spark whether at high speed it might drop a little bit although it shouldn't but yeah those points are arcing very badly so yeah that's basically how to wire up a car coil on a lawnmower engine so thank you for watching um, if you have any questions on this sort of thing just send me a personal message I'll do my best to help you so see you later